program is very broad. It's not only farming and fishing, hunting, stuff like that. It has welding, we teach small engine repair. It's a great experience. It's going to help you out. Electricity, plumbing, a wildlife class, animal science classes, small animal science class, horticulture, equine. Today I am at the Winter Classic Show. I've had her for about four or five months now and I'm going to be showing her. Basically it kind of brings a little bit of the country to them. You can check to see if it's a boy or a girl. But it also helps them realize that Agriculture is still a huge part of what we do today. In college, I plan to study equine sciences, become an equine veterinarian. I have a little rabbit that I show, his name's Snickers, he's really cute. We have a clinic and we show the younger kids how they are to show their rabbits if they're showing rabbits. They also have them for goats, heifers, whatever they want to show. These are called SAEs, or Supervised Agriculture Experiences. The kid buys them, the student raises them. Any money that is earned throughout this project is 100% theirs. Every one of y'all displayed your chickens very well. FFA is kind of set up as a three circle model. So we learn stuff here in the classroom. Then we kind of go out through the SAE, or our shop classes, our greenhouse. We put that into practice. That third circle is our FFA, our student organization that we go on a bunch of trips with. We go to competitions. So it all kind of reinforces the same principles we learn inside the classroom. In the fall of 17, we'll have a new ag barn that will be able to house a lot of different kinds of animals and help a lot of students out. They learn a lot of uh, skills that will, they'll use the rest of their life. Horticulture, it, everybody thinks, oh, you're just planting plants. Yes, you are planting plants, but what it does, it teaches you responsibility. I have a garden at my house now, all because of this class. I started one this year. The skills, yeah, you can use them throughout your house, on your vehicles, everyday stuff. If you have a leaky pipe, you can fix it yourself. You don't have to call someone, pay a hundred bucks to fix it. I mean, it's like six bucks. That's one of the most important things for me is that they take something home that they can turn around and apply in their home life. Starting off high school as a freshman, it's kind of scary. And I had no idea what I was going to do. When I got into this class, it opened up a lot of doors. It was somewhat like a spark. My freshman year, I signed up for the ag class. I fell in love with it. FFA has been there to help me through whatever I've been through my whole high school career. Ag science, specifically at our school, it's a small family setting. Uh, it's more of a home away from home. We do leadership events, career development events. You make a lot of friends going to these competitions and you meet friends and people from different chapters all over Texas and your circle just broadens. Everyone thinks, oh, I have to wear boots to be an FFA. That's not true. We accept everybody into it. And you just know that you have these friends that are going to be there for you. Honestly, I would say that being in this program has been my, the best part of my high school experience. So we're going to tackle another piece of metal down there, and we're going to make it a lap dance.